Great question. So the question is, uh, what is my CV like as a freelancer? Where where did I come from and how did I get here? Um, and so I'm going to do kind of a journey through pictures to show you how I went from a poor, broke uh, Hollywood assistant working literally minimum wage jobs to now where I am at, which is charging $350 an hour, funding my own creative projects and getting to pick and choose what clients I want to work with. So I went to USC film school. Um, there's me uh, on the set of a project that I made. Um, I basically like film school is kind of like a gigantic uh, playground in a way for me to kind of figure out like what my skills were and to kind of get my writing in line. Um, but honestly, I don't think a college degree matters at all <laughs> as a um, freelancer. I think it's really how you frame what you did in college or what you did if you didn't go to college. I won a bunch of awards for stuff that I made. I was a showrunner of a series um, that was about a bunch of con artists and we won uh, or we were nominated for two college television Emmys and got to take home some statues. Um, we won in some other festivals too. And so I was able to say that I'm an award-winning writer because I am. And so trying to figure out, because I'm a freelance writer, I need people to take me seriously uh, in what I do as my craft. So when I was starting out as a freelancer, I used uh, the allure of the awards <laughs> for making my television show show at USC um, that helped me kind of get jobs because people were like oh and like people could actually watch it and so it was a way for me to show my portfolio as a creative writer. After USC, I worked a bunch of really depressing minimum wage jobs, yes, at the Walt Disney Company and on cool back lots, but like I said, really depressing assistant jobs. Um, but I was able to say that I worked in a bunch of writer's rooms and I was able to actually write my own episode on this show called Condor, which is a spy con a spy show um, based on Three Days of the Condor. Um, so I was able to say, hey, I'm a produced TV writer. I've written an episode of TV. My name is on it. It has been produced. All those assistant years were not for nothing. But while I was working these jobs, um, um, I was also moonlighting on weekends and after hours as a freelance writer. I was also still writing my own work, which looked a little bit like this, <laughs> because when you're a creative uh, professional as well as a freelancer, as well as an assistant, you got to get your life in order. <laughs> and so I was making my own stuff while also doing all of these things. And it was really hectic, crazy few years of my life. I actually still create stuff. I write and produce a scripted podcast called The Last Station about the last radio station on Earth after the apocalypse and this lonely radio host and this cowboy who are trying to escape this Arizona desert filled with marauders. And so it's like a sci-fi adventure in the vein of War of the Worlds. This is also something that I use on my portfolio to get freelance writing jobs. Since then, I've just kept on growing my portfolio, my experience, and my client testimonials. But no, you don't need an education. You just need to keep adding to your portfolio and keep on improving your skills. Follow me for more tips.